been playing uh, pirates a lot with Henrik, like pretend pirates. Okay. We've been going on like increasingly elaborate, elaborate quests. Initially, we were just like sailing around on the seas, but then uh, some pirates showed up and were attacking our boat, and we ended up uh, in a battle like pirate ship versus pirate ship, and of course we won. And so uh, we took uh, some of their treasure maps they had aboard. I don't remember where the first uh, map led us to, but the second one like led us to uh, I think like some underground cave. Are you talking about Minecraft? No. Oh. No. What the heck are you talking about? Just pretend play. I'm playing pirates. Okay. And uh, at the the treasure in that cave was. Uh, uh, just like a sapling from a tree and when we picked up the sapling like this really old tree came to life and it started like talking to us and then it came after us because we were obviously leaving treasure and uh, we defeated the tree uh, and I guess a money tree sapling actually like uh, something a pirate really wants like a gold tree a money tree and the tree just said, uh, make sure we take care of it and grow it. So we went back home and we planted the money tree. And uh, we had all our other maps. So we set off on more adventures. And the first, the next place we went, uh, it's just like an island with a lava mountain, I think. Or no. Yeah, was it a lava mountain? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, and we had to go to the top of so first we had to go by a rock with like a swirly on it. Then we had to cross a river of lava. And to do that, like, I put some like pillows on the ground and those were like stones that we did to cross. And then we had to climb a ladder. And then up top, all we found was like a green, a rock with a green swirly gem. So we took that and left and then all of a sudden a lava monster like came to life and was chasing after us. And we, uh... Obviously, because we're the best, we defeated the lava monster. Here, and... come here. I got some sand for you. Thanks. T um, shall we continue? Sure. Where are we going? Uh, somewhere new. Okay. All right. Uh, let me make a boat. Let me see if I can find a boat. I got plenty of sand now. Yeah. Yeah, so our next uh, destination was supposed to bring us to, like, an island oasis. It's supposed to be a land, like, a tropical island, a bunch of, like, really good stuff. And, like, a paradise. Oh my gosh. This is and, weird. It's uh, like a miniature ocean right here. Yeah, yeah, it is. There shouldn't be dolphins and kelp here, should there? <laughs> so we get to what's supposed to be the, uh, like, Paradise Island, but instead it's all covered in black. It's a dark island. Uh, the village is all dark and dreary. There's no people there. Uh, so we walk in, and. Uh, <laughs> We walk into the village, so we have to go, I think it was like through a gate, I don't remember what the second task was, and then the third was, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, we, I usually set up like three tasks as we adventure. And so we get through the village, and uh, we start getting close to the gate, oh I remember what was next, <laughs> we get to the gate and then uh, some lady starts shrieking at us, goes, THE HEART OF STONE! <laughs> And uh, we battle, well, uh, we actually run from this lady, and like there's a whole bunch more, and they keep coming for us. Uh, but we just keep on running, and Henrik and I are like, oh, what's the hardest stone? I ask him if it's the stone we found at the previous place, and if we should bring it back, we should keep going. And he said we should keep going. Uh, so we kept going. Next we came to a tree uh, with Vikings helmets on it, and there's like skeletons. And so I showed them the stone that I had, and then the skeletons came to life. And uh, they were Viking skeletons, of course. And they really were uh, 
like battling us and chasing us and they said give us the heart of stone and uh, we uh, defeated them shooting them with arrows and pirate guns and fighting them with our swords and then uh, we defeated them and we kept going eventually uh, we found the oasis uh, which was an actual oasis oh and okay there's a pond in the middle, and at the middle of the pond was a little island And so we go in, uh, in the middle of the island, we find a treasure chest, uh, and it's full of, like, iron and gold and all sorts of, like, nice materials. So uh, we take all that and leave. Then all of a sudden, uh, the actual oasis we were in turned, like, dark. And uh, it wasn't even an oasis anymore, it was just an empty, barren, like, land. So we are able to, like, walk back across. I think we had something fought us there, probably skeletons, I don't remember. And so we had to run and get off the island. Like the lady was still shrieking in the village about the heart of stone. And so uh, we ran. And then after that, so clearly the heart of stone needed to be, was the gem we found at this uh, location. And we needed to bring it back. And I asked Henrik if he wanted to bring it back or go to the next island for more treasure. And of course, he wanted to just keep going. Uh, so as we were going, uh, the sea is dark, everything's dark. We see the next island. And uh, it's supposed to be, the next place was supposed to be the City of Gold. Uh, but it's just like a black fortress of obsidian and dark. And uh, Henrik decided we should board and go see what was happening. We get out and... Uh, as soon as we enter, like, the city of Obsidian, oh my gosh, uh, there's a necromancer in the middle and says, Thank you for bringing me the heart of stone. Now I shall use it to rule this land and rule everywhere. And uh, I finally convince Henrik that we need to run. He tries. We try to fight him first because Henrik uh, didn't get what was happening. <laughs> and uh, we fail in the battle, and uh, he has to barely save me. And then we run and then we get back into open seas. I finally convince him that uh, we need to return the Heart of Stone. So we go back, uh, return the Heart of Stone. We have to go like through the village, up the... Or what? No, not through the village. I, I don't remember. What was oh, the, what was the first oaks? thing? Oh, we had to go buy the... Yeah, big oaks. Big oaks. I don't need an oak sapling. Uh, no. I think it's only certain biomes, though, where you can put down, like, the four and then grow. Well, what's this? No, what's this sapling? Is this an oak sapling? Oh, this is a different dark oak. Okay, so it's separate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we went by like the swirly big stone, we crossed the river lava again, and then we climbed up the mountain. I saw a jungle over there. Oh, and the lava... More. Okay. And the lava guy was still there, so Henrik was fighting the lava guy. I was returning the heart of stone. And so, uh, I returned the heart of stone, and the lava guy settled down and disappeared or whatever. So we went back, um, I convinced Henrik we should go to the village and see if the village turned back to normal. And of course we get there, and it did, and they said, thank you for saving us. Uh, the mushroom biome, maybe. I've never actually seen a true mushroom biome. Like, I've never seen a live Minecraft. Holy, what are these things? Do we need some of these? Yeah, these are bamboo. bamboo. Okay. And they tell us uh, that the necromancer had recently come to the lands and uh, had been after the Heart of Stone. And uh, that now he was raising an army to uh, get the Heart of Stone. Or to, yeah, to go get the Heart of Stone and uh, take over the whole world. So, of course... Uh, we don't have the resources to take over an army. Uh, so we work with the village there and uh, supply them with the iron and 
gold and whatever, all the stuff we took from the oasis. Use that to make an army. Because, like, their lands are threatened, so we have to work together. And also, they have a cleric who can use magic that joins our party. Like, a new main character between the two of us that I have to also be. And, yeah. Uh, so, we get the weapons ready, like Henrik's hammering it away and stuff. We're forging. Then everything's ready. So, we set sail and head to uh, the City of Gold slash Obsidian. And, uh... On our way there, uh, the sea is really dark around uh, that area now. And all of a sudden, in the deep or in the distance, we see uh, an army of undead ships coming right for us. So we have like a crazy battle on the open ocean and like firing our cannons and stuff. And then, uh, like, while we're doing that. Uh, the necromancer summons a uh, whirlpool, so we have to like dodge the whirlpool as we're going around. We shoot cannonballs at the enemy ships to knock them into the whirlpool, um, and then uh, the necromancer summons like a leviathan, just like a big beast from under the sea, and that thing's like doing stuff to us, and it's like swatting at us, and we have to duck and dodge, and uh, we shoot cannonballs at its eyes, and luckily the cleric. Uh, then cast a spell that like stunned it and we were able to shoot it to also knock it into the whirlpool that was there then uh the other army that's with us like protects us as we take our ship and bring a couple of ships with us oh i got a bee nest and uh t <laughs> then we can finally get through to battle the necromancer and like we have to fight through hordes of enemies to get to the necromancer so we're doing all that sort of battling and stuff and then we finally get to the necromancer and we have to like team up so uh, Henrik has to make a trap and put it down so the necromancer gets stuck the cleric needs to cast a spell so that we can uh, do damage to it and then I well it's distracted by the trap and the cleric I sneak up and deliver the final blow and uh, luckily it works out Henrik makes a trap and gets him stuck it gets Henrik stuck too I don't know why but got everyone stuck but it also got the necromancer stuck and uh, I think we need to sleep <laughs> you have a shears by chance no and so uh, we defeated the necromancer and uh, the city of obsidian uh, turn to back to gold and uh, the people were saved uh, there's no longer a risk cobblestone? no I can try to find some I guess I, I want to get some of these vines what do you need cobblestone for make a stove smelt some iron <laughs> no. I mean, guys, mark down the location. Dude. So then uh, we decided to. Uh, well, the villagers decided that they were going to live in the city of gold now because their village was kind of run down. Uh, are you actually going to find some iron here, though? Isn't iron pretty hard to find? Oh, I got some. Oh. Um, I'll get some cobble. I got some. Do you have cobble already? Yep. Okay. It's just my inventory so full. Okay. So we took some treasure from the City of Gold, but like the people said we were also honorary citizens and can always have whatever we need and can be in the City of Gold whenever we want. And we got friends and who have an army in the City of Gold. And uh, I think that's where we left off. <laughs> okay, did you write that all down so you know? Uh, I'll mostly remember. <laughs> I think we kind of finished up that initial plot point of the Necromancer. I think it was a lot for him. <laughs> uh, we're probably going to do some more simple pirate missions the next few times. Because usually it's just we go somewhere, we find treasure, 
uh, the treasure is cursed and it turns me into an animal or a skeleton or something. <laughs> and then we have to put the treasure back. <laughs> And also, while we're doing this, like, I'm pretending to, like, sail and stuff, and I sing songs while we're sailing. Uh, sometimes we put on, like, Sea of Thieves in the background. Like, uh, there's uh, this band called the Longest Johns who sing, like, she shanties and stuff. And they've done that playing Sea of Thieves and also Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Like, there's one where they sang, like, every song from Assassin's Creed Black Flag and just sailed around on the ocean there. So we get a lot of, like, ambient going yeah, I need um, some more jungle saplings just like one or two more okay I seem to have lost you too well I'm at our boat so I don't know where that we jumped off ah Yes, that's how, and uh, t usually for that I have to put Rayla in the kennel because she's super involved and wants to play and like bites and stuff. <laughs> so she's just like upstairs barking the whole time while we're having crazy pirate adventures. Oh. A lot of bamboo. Yeah. I think I went too far. Yeah, so that's what I get to do. That's what my work day is like. It's tough. I'm a pirate captain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like Oh, it's a parrot. Okay. Oh, you need a fish to tame it. What is that? I, s I am like confused. You should put down torches as you go, or else uh, blocks or something. I don't know. I'm in the river, boating around, looking for you, but. Okay, what the heck was that? That was weird. I was trying to get you some saplings here. I almost did think about writing it down though, just to keep track of the adventures we've oh. done. Here are the boats, okay. I'm here. So we can like keep plot going and everything. Where are you now? Uh, falling. Oh, there. Okay. Let's see. Shit. I mean, I got bamboo, vines, dark oak saplings, spruce saplings. I got one jungle sapling. Okay, well, I've been taking down some jungle trees, so hopefully they make a sapling for you. I got cocoa beans. The problem is so many of these are like in contact with each other. Oh, I got two. I think that's good enough for me. Uh, C for cookie. That's good enough for me. So we kind of make our way back, if we can find our way back. Uh, sure. I have no idea where we, we're going. We're going west now. 
Yeah, mostly west, but we kind of like deviated, didn't we? Yeah, it'd be more southwest. Okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. Sometimes I make some make up some pirate songs. Sometimes I sing some actual ones, just like sailing songs. So I've sung like "Come Sail Away," "You Are a Pirate," "Northwest Passage." Uh, what would you do with a silly sailor? <laughs> And sometimes Henrik sing he goes, You're looking for treasure, you're looking for treasure, looking for treasure. <laughs> so that's his pirate song. <laughs> I feel bad for Molly because every time <laughs> she goes to play with him, she's like, he's like, no, play like Dada. You gotta sing this way. <laughs> So I could get like super into creative and pretend play. Okay. What the heck? What did I just pick up? Uh, probably. Uh, yeah. Seaweed. Apparently, uh, you can produce infinite, like coal or like burning devices, like infinite fuel sources with the kelp farm. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is where we get off and run. Yeah, yeah. cave. Just, I'm kind of curious what it looks like. Yeah, I think I saw this before. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's big. Uh, Do you want to just get in a boat and fall in? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Did you? No. Okay. No. Not this time. Still, nothing will be like that edge of the world fall. <laughs> Where it just looked like it was a world hole. We had no idea what was going to be on the other side. <laughs> it's just like a blank drop off. Like literally looked like the end of the world. <laughs> Let me just go. Because <laughs> we were doing like the dual driving. Like should we go? And you're like no. And I'm like we're going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you only took because of the stalactites or whatever. Like, it must have hit you and not me. Yeah. <sighs> Gosh, I'm so hungry. I've eaten, like, a bunch, too. But, like, I ran for an hour yesterday. Ran for an hour today. But ran, like, uh, over half a mile farther today in that hour. And, uh, super cold out, super windy. I'm just like starving all the time. So, Rob didn't want to play Minecraft? Uh, I don't know. Usually, I mean, we'll see if I'm on. Like, he'll get my Twitch notification and stuff. Oh, we have to get over this, and then... Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a nice lone tree here. So we keep heading to the west. Another feeling I get when I look to the west. 
what does he say after that? And you know, sometimes words have two meaning. I don't know. I think that's a different verse. <laughs> Do you know? No, I don't. Shit. That's the problem. The first, like, initial verses are, like, pretty similar, and they like, both kind of have the same rhyming structure. This is where I to took down a couple of trees, I think. There's a walk down the road. What do you think people thought when they first heard Stairway to Heaven? Like, did they just think, oh, it's another nice Led Zeppelin song? Or did they, like, literally be like, this is the greatest song I've ever heard and that there may ever be? Um, not sure. Or, like, when people heard one for the first time, like. It was probably the greatest song ever. Yeah. But, like, we were, like, old enough where that was already, like, established. And, like, the Stairway to Heaven 2, like, two of those greatest songs ever. But imagine, like, not knowing that that song was going to be the greatest song ever. Like, all of a sudden, you're just, like, you get home, you just got your record of Injustice for All. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's their sec uh, second or third album. Uh, Justice for All? Yeah, because... Uh, I don't remember. I forget if Ride the, Ride the Lightning was before or after. I think Ride the Lightning was for before... Okay, so third album, and uh, it just starts off a helicopter, and so like some gunshots. Then you hear, mm -hmm. ding, 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 ding. you're like, oh, this is pretty neat. And then it just picks up, and picks up, and picks up. Then all of a sudden, you're just like head banging and going nuts. And it's been so long since I listened to Metallic. Yeah, like you went in, like someone told you, like, this is the best song. Like, imagine when it wasn't. Like, what songs from now are going to be that? Like, Justin Bieber. Good <laughs> intentions or whatever. What? And Despacito. I don't know if you've heard Willow, but everything about that is perfect. I don't know. Like, it'll be interesting what time will tell. I think in the end, we'll end up up there. Lose yourself. Well, we made it. We did. We didn't get lost. That's pretty impressive. That's our innate sense of direction. <laughs> Early days of Minecraft, Molly got lost every single adventure she went on. <laughs> every time. <laughs> I'd have to go help her find her way home. I've got uh, something for you, Nick. Uh, what do I do with this? Here you go. Just, oh, I... Here, I'll put it here. Right where it needs to go. Right? Bam. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, what is this tree up here? Holy buckets. Have you seen this tree? What tree? Up here. It's got three uh, bees nests. Oh, yeah. I put them there. Okay. Okay. I think they're dead. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about that. Oh. Well, 